It happens to all of us small channels. We get really excited that our video is finally bringing in some comments. We go over, ready to answer, and we come across this. I get it. I am right there with you. I am trying to grow my channel. I work really hard on my videos. So I know how tempting it is to wanna do sub for sub because at least then you feel like you're finally getting somewhere. And the thing is that a lot of times it doesn't even feel like you're doing sub for sub because it's disguised in the form of support. The problem is that it's doing absolutely nothing for your channel. Okay, well not nothing. It is actually slowly killing your channel. So if that's what you're going for, then by all means, keep doing it. But if your goal is to grow, then there's a couple of things that we need to change. In today's video, I wanna really look into the why sub for sub is a complete waste of time, how you might be caught up in a sub for sub cycle and not even realize it, and how you can turn it around if you are. Hola mis fellow YouTubers, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Nessa and this is the Project Girl Boss channel where I share with you all the tips, tricks, and tools that female content creators and entrepreneurs can use to boss up their socials and change their life. Make sure you stick around to the end because not only will I share with you a proven growth strategy that has worked for me, but I'll also share with you a little something I learned about watch time that I had no idea about and I don't hear a lot of people talking about. But first, let's get into this sub for sub problem, okay? Let's go. So let's break this down. If you're doing sub for sub, it's probably because you want those first 1,000 subscribers. And if you want 1,000 subscribers, it's probably because you're trying to get your channel monetized. Am I right? You know I'm right. The thing is, even if you manage to get 1,000 subscribers using this method, you still need 4,000 watch hours in order for your channel to become eligible for monetization. And 90% of the time, the people that subscribe to you only because you subscribe to them will either a unsubscribe a few days later or youtube will remove their subscription b never again watch another one of your videos therefore making their subscription worthless because they're not contributing to your watch time or c watch one to three minutes of your video and then click out killing your retention rate thus making their subscription worthless because they're not contributing to your watch time. You've heard me say watch time twice now, and that's because watch time is important to YouTube. And like I said, I will share with you something towards the end about watch time that I didn't know and can actually help your channel grow. This is what YouTube has to say on the whole sub for sub as a growth strategy. We believe that growing your channel should be done by creating quality content that entices viewers to subscribe and not through artificial or coordinated exchanges. Offering to subscribe to another creator's channel solely in exchange for them subscribing to your channel, also known as sub for sub, is not allowed. Creators who offer such exchanges risk losing subscriber numbers receiving a terms of use strike, or even having their channel terminate. Well, that comes directly from YouTube, you guys, and they actively monitor to see if people are doing this. If you go to your YouTube studio under the comment section, you will notice that there are three categories or three tabs, and it's the published, which has all the comments that your video actually receives. Then there's a held for review and a likely spam. Now I went into my likely spam and held for review yesterday and I had 318 comments in likely spam and 86 comments in held for review. Already these are comments that YouTube has kind of flagged as potentially being spam and they're giving me, the creator, the option of either approving them, deleting them, or reporting them as spam. Let's say that I as a creator go into the likely spam section and I see a comment that just says, great video, I just subscribed. And I decide, you know what, 
this is very spammy and I hit the little flag that says report as spam. That sends a trigger to the algorithm saying, hey, this, this channel was spamming on this video. Now imagine if you have used that same type of comment on other creators' videos and imagine if they also go through their spam comment section and also report it as spam. So now you have your one channel being reported by multiple creators as having spammed their videos. That's going to let YouTube know, hey, this channel is a spammer and what they're gonna do is they're either gonna bury your videos and not show it to anybody they're gonna kill your comments they're gonna kill your channel and I know you might be sitting there thinking like yes I know all that and it doesn't really apply to me because I'm not doing sub for sub I know that sub for sub is wrong I want to take you back to that YouTube statement specifically to the part that says coordinated exchanges because I think that this is what's happening behind the scenes a lot and where a lot of us can kind of get caught in a sub for sub cycle and not even realize it. By now, we all know that one of the best ways to grow your channel is to promote it on your other social media platforms. Another kind of big avenue to promote your channel are Facebook groups. Now, Facebook groups are great, but what is happening in a lot of these groups? And I want to go ahead and emphasize it's not every single group and it's not every person in the group. It's some groups and it's some people in the groups. It's not everybody. What's happening is these Facebook groups have threads and you can promote your videos in those threads. And right away, you'll start getting comments on the Facebook group saying WLCS. When you first come across it, you think to yourself, oh, this is just the way it works in the group. Yes, we are supporting each other because we're all in this group. We all have a common goal. We're all trying to grow. But at the end of the day, this is basically going on someone's YouTube and typing out sub for sub. It's another way of saying it. And no, it's not support because the fact of the matter is that it's really, really hard to watch something that you're not interested in. It's just not in you. And it doesn't mean that your video is bad if I'm not interested in it. Let me give you an example. I am not a big sports person, okay? I don't watch sports. I don't play sports. I don't particularly care for sports. So if you have a sports channel and we're both in this Facebook group and I post my video link and you come back and you say, hey, I WLCS. Now I feel compelled to go watch your video because yes, we're in the same group. Even if I did it right, because a lot of times you'll see people telling you, don't forget to do it right. You have to watch at least three minutes of the video, which to be honest with you, does not make a lot of sense to me because if I'm only gonna watch three minutes of the video and then click out just to say, there, I did it, I got it out of the way. Yes, YouTube is not gonna remove the subscription but then I become the second category where I'm not going to go watch another one of your videos because it's just not something that interests me. So now I've just become a subscriber number. I'm not contributing to your watch hours. I'm not contributing to your growth. So now I'm not helping you. I am hurting you. Support doesn't necessarily mean, hey, go subscribe to my channel. Support can mean, hey, look at my video. Can you give me some pointers? Support can be, hey, I don't know how to do this on YouTube. Does anybody know how I can do this? And people from the group can let you know what they've done, what, what has worked for them, what hasn't. All of a sudden, we're getting these subscribers from the so-called support or coordinated exchanges that we're doing on these Facebook groups. Basically, that is what it is. You know, threads go out on a specific day. There's different threads for different niches. So we are doing all of these coordinated things to try to get views to our channel. And if all of a sudden we start expecting people to subscribe just because we're all in the same group and we start getting the subscribers, but the views don't start adding up, 
that's going to trigger something in the algorithm. Eventually, it will catch up to the fact that, hey, you are gaining all of these subscribers. You're also subscribing back to them, but your watch time and your views are not changing from when you didn't have these subscribers. So that must mean that you're using sub for sub as a growth strategy. And that's when we start seeing our channel get stuck. All of a sudden we start losing those subscribers. I want to go ahead and touch on what we can do to kind of switch things around if this has been happening to you. Before I get into that, I am interested in knowing if you guys learned anything about sub for sub today that you didn't know before. So go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section just telling me what you learned that you didn't know before. And if you already knew everything, you can tell me that too. If you were doing this, then just stop. Just stop across all other social media platforms. Yes, you can keep promoting your videos on Facebook groups and on your Facebook page and on Twitter, on Instagram. You need to get off of the WLCS wheel. Think of sharing your link on a Facebook thread or on any other social media platform as a way for people that probably wouldn't come across your videos on YouTube alone to be able to see it and let them make a decision as to whether they want to go ahead and click your video and go to your video and subscribe, like, and comment. If you click on somebody's link in one of these threads, don't then come back to the post on, on the group or on Twitter or on Instagram and say something like, I watched, liked, commented, and subscribed. They can already see your comment on YouTube, so you, you don't have to tell them that. But if you feel compelled to let them know that you have visited their channel, ask yourself why. Do you want them to know because you're hoping that they're going to return the favor? Or do you want them to know because you just want them to know that somebody from the group saw their link and visited to their channel? If it's the latter, then a better comment might be, hey, I just stopped by your video and I really enjoyed it. And there, leave it at that. You don't need to say anything else. You'd be surprised at what an actual genuine comment can do for the growth of your channel. And let me show you with an example because this brings me to that little growth strategy that I was talking about, which I have used and has worked really well for me. About a month ago, I was on YouTube at night and I came across this channel called The Real K Mo. I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel down below in the description in case you guys want to check her out. She has really good content. But I came across one of her videos. It was a what's on my iPhone video. I clicked on it. I really enjoyed the video. I remember I left her a comment and then I decided to look her up on Instagram. Now, The Real K Mo has a lot more subscribers than I do, but I looked her up on Instagram and I sent her a DM. I'm gonna put the comment up on the screen so that you can see it, and then I'm gonna read it off of my phone. But basically, I said, Hi, I just caught your new What's on My iPhone 11 video and really enjoyed it. Would you be open to mutual support? And I left it at that. And I know you're probably sitting there thinking like, well, there you go, you're doing sub for sub and here you are telling us that sub for sub is wrong. That's sub for sub right there. But let me show you why it's not and tell you why it's different. I'm gonna show you another message and this is a DM that I received on my Instagram after I promoted a video on one of my Instagram posts. Right away, they said, sub for sub if yes make sure you watch on app and also at least two minutes before subscribing and also don't forget to like and comment do that and i'll do the same and then they plugged their channel when i messaged the real kmo on april 28th so when i sent her this dm i had already watched her video i had already liked her video and i had already left her a comment on the video now you can see that she didn't reply to me until may 
third and she said you know like yes sure is your link on your youtube and i said yes it is but you know what i actually think that you are subscribed to me already i want to go ahead and show you when she subscribed to me you can pull this up for anybody that has their subscriptions set to public so you can see that she subscribed to me on april 29th so i messaged her on the 28th which is when i saw her video and i commented she probably saw my comment on youtube on the 29th i don't think that she is subscribing to every single person that comments on her videos that just doesn't make sense but i know that for me whenever i see a genuine comment come under my videos a lot of times i'll look at the avatar i'll look at the channel name and i'll get curious as to hmm, who is this person because they took the time to genuinely watch my video and leave a comment and you can tell a lot from a genuine comment you know something like hey great video really enjoyed it it doesn't really tell me anything other people commenting on their videos can also see your comments they can also get curious about your profile and visit your channel as well by the time she saw my dm on instagram on may 3rd she had already subscribed to my channel in the dm that i sent her i never plugged my channel i never said hey i hope you do the same i simply left it at I watched your video, I really enjoyed it. And yes, I asked her like, would you be open to mutual support? But I left it at that. And even if she had not subscribed to my video, I wouldn't have gone back and unsubscribed because that wasn't the motivation behind me sending the DM. A lot of us forget the human, the human element to YouTube. And when we make it all about the subscriber number, I think people can tell and it kind of puts people off. We're coming up on the end of the video and as promised, I told you that I was gonna share with you guys a little something that I learned about watch time that I didn't know and that can actually help your channel grow as well. And just in case you didn't know, the number one ranking factor for YouTube at this moment is watch time. The longer you can keep people on your videos, the more valuable you are to YouTube. I can see your head shaking like, yes, Nessa, I knew this. I know that watch time is important and I know that the longer I keep people on my videos, the better it is for me. But did you know that it's not just about how long or what percentage of your video that viewer watched, but also how much your video contributed to that user's overall watch time watching videos on the platform. I'm gonna go back to the Facebook groups because that's where a lot of us smaller channels promote our videos. Let's say that I haven't been on YouTube at all today and I go to Facebook, I see the thread and I come across your channel link and I decide, oh, this looks interesting. I click on that link, which takes me from Facebook to YouTube. I watch your video and then I go watch somebody else's video. Even though I watched your video and then I skipped to somebody completely different, so not another one of your videos, but somebody else's video, your video still brought me to the platform and now I'm staying there. And now let's say that because from that first session of when I came, I remain on YouTube for another hour or half hour watching other people's videos. In the end, for the algorithm, it still tracks that me as a viewer who has been on the platform now for over an hour initially came to the platform from your video. Even though I may not be watching just your videos or just your playlist, if you're still bringing people to the platform and then they are staying there watching other videos, it doesn't matter whose, if your video initially brought them there, YouTube is going to reward you. That doesn't mean that if I stay on the platform for 30 minutes or for an hour, YouTube is going to credit you with one hour of watch time or 30 minutes of watch time because I stayed on the platform. 
No, but it, what it does mean is that it's gonna say, hey, let's show some of this creator's videos because they bring in viewers that then stay on the platform and ultimately that is what YouTube wants. Would it be better if I start binge watching your content? Yes, and so for that, we need to apply different strategies, but we can't get into those today because then this video would just be way too long. I wanna take this time to invite you to my Facebook page. On this Facebook page, I will be discussing even more tips, tricks, and strategies that I don't always go to in depth on video. Now, I also have a group. It is a work in progress. It's still not where I want it to be or perfect, but I do eventually want it to become a place where we can all learn from each other and grow the right way. It will be linked down in the description bar. You can also ask me any type of questions on this Facebook page related to YouTube videos or content creation, and I will go ahead and try my best to get those answers. That will be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you found some value in it, go ahead and give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be sharing with you all the tips and strategies that I learned so that you can apply them in your channels also. Remember, growth can be slow, but if you put in the work, take the time to learn and genuinely engage with other people, you will start to see results. I will go ahead and see you on the next one. Bye!